I'm Joe Vancena with Loop. We help more than 500 Shopify brands save time for their support team with an automated returns process. And we've built one of the best online exchange experiences for your customers so that they can shop confidently and always find a product that they love. Today, we're taking the customer experience to the next level. We have a feature releasing called Printerless Returns. Now, as the name suggests, Printerless Returns is a way for your customer to ship product back to you without a printer. And this is important because more than 30% of shoppers don't own a printer. Now, these customers need options. If you have a printer and you want to print, great. But if not, we can now generate a QR code that contains all the details of their shipment and send it straight to their phone. It's really cool. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how that works. And on the way to getting to the printerless returns experience, I'm going to show you a few of the ways that we can help you build one of the best customer returns experiences on Shopify. So let's get into it. We're going to start with a demo. This is an order that I've created in Shopify and has been fulfilled and shipped to the customer. Now they're going to get started by going to your returns portal. This is a custom URL with your own logo and background image and that customer is going to come with their order and zip and enter that in to get started. Now at this point we call Shopify and view all the items in the order and we can tell which items are eligible to be returned. So you'll see at the bottom items that are final sale or have already been returned are grayed out and can't be actioned. So then a customer is going to select a product. The first ask you're going to see here is, has the product been worn or washed? This is, a, this is a custom question that you can ask any of your customers to enforce a detail of your return policy. Now, if I click yes, the item becomes final sale. If I click no, I can now return the product. So inside the field jacket, we can exchange for a new size. This is a variant exchange. We're checking inventory in Shopify, so we always know what's in stock. And in this case, I'm looking for a large, but it's no longer available. So now I can select shop with return credit. This is a great way for a customer to get into a different product if a size is out of stock. After shopping with credit, I'm gonna select a reason. Now these are all custom and you'll have two tiers. So if the item didn't fit, why didn't it fit? In this case, it was too large. So now I'll continue. Now this is the most important part of Loop. We can now ask a customer if they want to keep shopping and take their $266 in credit and choose to shop now. What you see circled on screen is bonus credit. This is where you can give a customer extra credit to keep shopping. Let's say they ignore that. They can take store credit. That's even money. Or they can take a refund. And this case has a $10 shipping fee deducted. Now this is a powerful incentive where you have 256 in refund credit, but 276 in shop now credit. And this is what leads more customers to exchange. So now inside of shop now, you can see we're inside the product catalog. This is still loop, very simple design and no developer needed, but now I can exchange for any other product on your site. The navigation on the left side lets me pick different collections and now I can swap for an entirely different product. In this case, a pair of sunglasses that I really love. Add this product to cart and continue. It's just like shopping. So here I have an exchange. I'm sending back a jacket and I'm receiving sunglasses. This is a totally unique transaction where you are retaining revenue. We have a refund total where we're tracking the balance remaining and the customer can submit this return and refunds the, refund the balance to their credit card. So this is the customer experience to get to printerless and here we are. Where typical solutions will generate a PDF label Loop is now generating a digital QR code. Now you can see the digital QR code on screen, but we've also emailed a copy of this QR code to their email. Now if you'd like to print a label, you could. Otherwise, you take the QR code to any eligible location and just drop off your product. So here we're going to find an eligible location. I enter my zip code and up appears all of the locations eligible to drop off near me in Columbus, Ohio. In this case, I'm looking for a Walgreens. I'm going to take some shopping and, and buy some things for my home and drop off my return. So it is a great experience for the customer with 11,000 drop off locations eligible. Now, any FedEx office and any Walgreens would be eligible for the customer. And through that portal, they can find the closest and most convenient location to them. So you've just seen in the customer experience a great way to exchange for more products that you love and a great way to find a location to drop off your new QR code. But I do want to spend some time since you've invested, uh, invested this time with us, I want to spend some time on the back end so you can see exactly how we set this up. 
Now here you're looking at the admin for Loop. All of your open return requests live here and they're pending approval. So you have the status, whether it was an exchange or a gift card, and the shipping status. So how close is it to arriving at the warehouse? Inside of each return, you'll see the product coming back, the product you're sending out, and it's important to note that this is just a request. So this order does not exist in Shopify until you click process items. Now that's the manual method that will send the data into Shopify. Now while we're here, I want you to see the return status page. This is a permanent URL where customers can always go back and access their QR code or find an eligible drop-off location. Now this again was emailed to them at the start, but if they forget, you can always send them a copy. So back into the admin, I want to show you some shipment information details. Now first you can see the label has been sent one time. If you need to send it again, just click the link. And we'll have a status. Has the customer seen the QR code? Yes or no? And have they generated a label? Yes or no? So very straightforward. But going back to this process section, I want to show you how you can automate the approval. So you don't need to click that button at all. I'm going to jump into my United States return policy. And we're going to look at our return outcomes. So inside of Loop, we track each return outcome, refund, exchange, store credit. And each of those outcomes can be managed separately with a setting called processing events. Now with a processing event, we're looking at the shipping status of the QR code and we're automatically approving it based on the status you choose, in this case, in transit. Now the experience for the customer on in transit is delightful. They take their package to a FedEx or Walgreens location drop off the return, and the moment it's scanned, it's immediately approved and processed into Shopify. Entirely hands-free for your team and a great customer experience for them. So we've covered a lot, about seven minutes in. Thank you for joining and watching this video. We're super excited to dive into printerless returns with you and please book a demo. Let's talk, let's dig in, learn more about your return policy and how we can help.